The Goat House is back with week 11 NFL power rankings. Every Tuesday morning, I rank every NFL team from 32 to 1 based on how they're playing, really separating the men from the boys here as things start to heat up. Let's take a look at the rankings. Coming in at 32, the Las Vegas Raiders, who were off a bye, but if you pay attention last week, the teams that were down here, they end up winning in week 10, and the Raiders aren't helping themselves anyways because they've been really struggling. Let's see if they can do something off the bye. 31, the Giants go down five spots after a sloppy loss to the Carolina Panthers in Germany. They had a shot, but the losing streak continues. You can't lose that game. They're down to 31. 30, the Saints were last and only lasted a week. They upset the Falcons. They'll go up two spots. And the Panthers put together a two-game winning streak. They're going to go up to 29. It wasn't perfect. Things weren't going the Giants' way, and it took overtime for the Panthers to win. But... They're putting something together here. They're, they're getting better with their young talent that they have. 28, Titans are going to stay put despite losing to the Chargers. 27, the Jags are playing some good teams tight, but still don't look, look like the best team. The offense and the defense can't show up at the same time. They're down two spots. 27, 26, the Browns off a of bye. Some other teams winning and moving up. The Chicago Bears, as disappointing as anyone in the league recent weeks, they actually just fired Shane Waldron a second ago. I saw that on my phone. But maybe that'll change some things. But offense looks like the worst in football right now. They were home against the Patriots. You expect an easy win for them, and they only scored three points. So they're one of the biggest fallers this week, down six spots, 25. And there's the Patriots, a win that people didn't really expect to happen being away in Chicago. They're up five spots to 24. And a lot of teams staying in the same spot. You know, you'd think the Cowboys may be deserving of moving down, but who are they going to move below right now? The Colts, same thing. The Jets, same thing. At least the Jets did beat the Texans a couple weeks ago. Uh, the Seahawks off a bye. They do, you, wanna, you have to think the Seahawks are better than some of these teams they're grouped with. They just got to put something consistent together here. They play the Niners this week. The Dolphins go up a whopping eight spots as all these teams around them are losing football games and they're not the best football teams. Teams that they the, the Dolphins look a lot better recently and finally get that win against a hot Rams team. So they're going to go up eight spots to number 19. So let's see if they can get something going here. They had the Cardinals and they had the Bills. They just couldn't pull them off, but they beat the Rams. 18, the Bucks go down a spot. And the Broncos did lose. It was a, obviously a tight one with the Chiefs. They're winning the whole game. They had, they played poorly in the second half, but they had a shot with a chip shot field goal. It just got blocked. But like the Broncos, deserving of moving ahead of the Buccaneers. They do have a head-to-head -head win against them. The Buccaneers are on a losing streak. The Broncos played the best team. Really, really tough. They'll play the Falcons this week. That would be a really good game, one I'm looking forward to. Let's see who we pick in our weekly pick show tonight, to every Tuesday night. So join us for that. Subscribe, turn notifications on while you're at it. Uh, the Rams go down a spot. They've been winning games, been impressive. A uh, little off against the Dolphins. The defense played all right, but they were, I was surprised that the offense was – was that off. even though they can move the ball, it just felt a little sloppy. You know, it felt like they took some some steps backwards a little bit. But uh, yeah, there's really no room to move them down more than a spot here. They're still overall playing pretty solid football. Uh, just got to pick it back up here. And the Bengals, just like the Broncos, end up moving up a spot f despite losing. But yeah, the Rams didn't look so hot in that Dolphins game. Very disappointing. Well, the Bengals looked pretty pretty good. They had they got to be more consistent, but they had a stretch of defense, the offense, and they, and they did enough to win. They, you could argue they outplayed the Ravens. So I felt comfortable swapping the Bengals and the Rams here after the those performances. So they're at 15, 14. The Falcons would have disappointing one yeah they moved the ball on the Saints and if they would have made some field goals then they probably would have won the game they did not make the field goals they did not execute in the red zone let MVS go off on them which was which was surprising but it's a disappointing one it is a division rival loss sometimes those happen but they're down three spots to 14 Chargers going up a spot they've been impressive especially the defense and Herbert in the passing game heating up the next step for them you know 13's a really good rank they've been playing really well the next step for them is beat a solid team they don't have like the greatest resume for a winning team but I think they're very capable of beating good teams and they look like a good team right now they'll play the Bengals this week so that'd be a big one on Sunday Night Football at home if they win that they could get a good boost from that one so that's kind of the next step for a hot team right now number 12 the Niners go up a spot kind of getting back to their another step closer to their normal selves the special teams can't get there but they outplayed the Bucks much more than what the score showed they missed some field goals and the defense actually played very well in that game there was like two drives where maybe they slipped up a little bit but 49ers see if they get back on track up one spot to 12 number 11 the Texans they had it they had it against the number one ranked team from last week the Lions and they let it slip away CJ Shroud is 
a little inconsistent right now. Crazy, flashy plays that you see like not too many quarterbacks can make and then just very bad plays. He had a wide open touchdown that he underthrew. If he hit that, that could have been the game. The offensive line is struggling. I'm not just the guards. People talk about the guards, the whole offense line, even the tackles that are supposed to be good. Struggling right now. Love the way the defense played for most of this game. Um, you know, slipped up a little bit in the fourth quarter, but man, that they were close to soaring up the rankings here, but been a little, little disappointing that Jets loss looks even worse. They're down two spots. Still feel like they're a good team, right? Number 10, the Cardinals are as hot as anyone right now. They're up two spots to number 10 after dominating the Jets. So, yeah, they've been very impressive, really on all phases, every part of the game right now. Um, so they continue to move up. They're in the top 10, ladies and gentlemen, after they were very inconsistent in that middle part of the season. They're figuring it out. Number nine, the Commanders go down a spot, a battle with the Steelers. They had it. You know, they had a good lead. They couldn't put it away. They couldn't really move the ball after the Steelers made adjustments more more toward, further down the second half. Had a shot at the end. I know controversial call with Ertz. You, you know, it's 50-50 there. That, you know, understandable why they keep the call on the field, even though the spot was off. I thought he got the first, but it's pretty tough. They got to they gotta keep that lead and put, put the game away there. But they've been very impressive. Let's see if they get some guys back. Brian Robinson Jr., Marshawn Latimer, maybe going to make his de debut Thursday night football in Philadelphia. Eagles are hot. That's going to be a fun game, a battle for the NFC East. It's just between those two teams right now. So excited to see who we pick tonight in the pick show. But out of the top eight, the Packers run a bye. They move down a spot. Just other teams. One other team moving up is really what happened here. The Vikings won, and they moved down a spot. They just don't feel as good. I don't know. My voice got really high there. They they don't feel as good as they were in the first four weeks. They are winning football. They are 7-2, and two, so they belong up here in this range. But, I mean, they moved the ball. They just got to execute a little better. Defense was solid, but they played Mac Jones. You know, so I just think there was a team, uh, you know, deserving to move ahead of them right now but yeah I think that's a first first time ever we're two weeks in a row at team one and I moved them down it could happen just based on how they look and how other teams around them are playing and just have the first time it's ever happened it's been it happens to be my team so I'm sure from the other Vikings fans I'll get some smack but uh the Steelers I they look better than the Vikings for an example right now they they beat the commanders who are a great team right now they're a hot team and the Steelers play well on both sides of the ball. It wasn't a full game from the defense, but the way they adjusted and just shut down the, the commanders once they had 27 points really helped them win this game. And the, they, the Steelers look very impressive recently under Russell Wilson when he's leading the way. We'll see if teams start having a better game plan for that because I guess it's fairly new. But they look, re they look really, really good right now. They play the Ravens this week. Oh, man. that's This, this week, this is the big week coming up. A lot of big-time games here. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a fun ball game, a battle in the AFC North. Number five, Eagles. Yeah, I thought about moving the Eagles up because they're on a roll. I love the way the defense is playing. They dominate the Cowboys. They should dominate the Cowboys given the injuries, but they're on a roll. There's really no room to move them up. It was kind of tough to move some of these teams down, but I considered it. That's how good the Eagles are looking. But a statement win over the Commanders this week, if they get it, could do some damage here. Thursday night football is gonna be a lot of fun. It's in Philly, so. Maybe they got that advantage, but the Commanders should be getting a little healthier. We will see. Number four, the Ravens. Yeah, I considered flipping the Eagles and the Ravens because the Eagles, you know, don't have a loss to the Browns recently. They've been very, very good, but the Ravens dominated the Broncos a week ago. The Broncos been a pretty good team. They put up a fight with the Chiefs, and this week they beat the Bengals. I know it took some clutch maneuvering, if you will, but uh, it's a, the Bengals are a pretty solid team, and the Ravens figured it out, you know, fourth quarter team, so it was pretty tough to move them down off that, but it was pretty close there in the top five, pretty clear cut. Number three is the Buffalo Bills. Defense had an outstanding game, turning over the Colts and getting sacks on Joe Flacco and turning them over, obviously, but offense did enough. It could have been a little prettier, but they've been really, really solid, one of the better teams in football. They feel a little more balanced compared to past years. They've always had that issue where I mean, there was a, a portion of the season where the offense stalled and they got rid of Dorsey and then the offense was picking it back up. But then you wonder about the defense, like what's going on with the defense. But they look pretty damn balanced right now. Uh, and that's a pretty good sign. But now we're going to start getting in towards that playoff mode. You know, we're getting there. So can they keep it consistent? They'll get Matt Milano back potentially later in the season here. Uh, so that, that could be pretty fun. And uh, it's been a battle. It's been a Two teams, clear-cut two teams. It's been a battle, and we did make a change this week, and we'll explain it here. The Lions have been number one. We're at that point of the year where if you're 9-0, and 
in my power rankings, how could you not be number one? That is impossible to stay undefeated. The trap game against the Broncos. I know the Chiefs didn't look that great. Second half, they were. They moved the ball. To, when they need to score and they need to make plays, they absolutely do it. Both sides of the ball in the second half. They shut down the Broncos and they blocked the kick. So a little bit of luck, but they pulled off. If the Lions went out and just absolutely like looked great like they have been, then it would have been impossible to move them down. But the Chiefs staying undefeated. Tough to not to have won. The Lions, yeah, they were a little off their game. I mean, the big positive here, I don't... The big the negative is they didn't look great in that game, but the big positive looking forward, like if they're not on their game, they could still win against good teams. So it's a, it's actually a positive for like going forward to playoffs and everything. But in this game, yeah, golf off his game, five interceptions. The offensive line even didn't look like the normal offensive line. The running game didn't look like... They picked up a little bit at the end. Didn't look like the normal... Uh, you know, running game. The defense was struggling in the first half. They picked it up in the second half, but I think it was a matter of uh, C.J. Stroud hitting a free touchdown. He just gifted the Lions, and then it was a controversial missed P.I. at the end. So there's a couple things that the Lions maybe just escaped, but things weren't going their way. They figured it out. They're most definitely a top-two team. Argue could argue they've looked like the best team this year, but the Chiefs right now felt like they were just deserving of that number one spot. Uh, they'll play the Bills. Didn't talk about that yet. One versus three. The Chiefs at the Bills. Can the Chiefs stay undefeated? It's very tricky. Bills, can they? Can the offense get going a little bit more compared to last week? Were they looking ahead a little bit? So, cannot wait. There's a lot of good. There's more than just the ones I uh, talked about. Lions have an easy one against the Jags. So, they should stay up here. But, <laughs> we think. But, uh, yeah, a lot of really good games. Cannot wait to see who the boys pick. And what I decide in our weekly pick show tonight, also have score predictions and locks coming later this week. We had a mock draft recently go up, an updated mock draft here, so you're going to want to check that out. Like, subscribe, turn notifications on me, much appreciated. That is going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.